Hi, welcome to this playlist called Introduction to Daylight Analysis with Honeybee. It's gonna take 13 videos to cover this playlist, so this is the longest playlist that you see in this channel. So let's see what we are having in. We are having a lot of different analysis, but we start with a parametric model of this shoe box. So this shoe box will have a lot of different information related to the materials and the like the glazing types and so on and so forth. Maybe I can preview this one for now and I can turn you off. So what this basically starts with the type of glazings and the facade or face orientation. So this is the vest facade. So in the vest facade, what we are going to do is we are basically changing the number of elements in our vest facade. Okay. And you see, we have nothing there. So this is the vest facade. We can decrease this as well. It's taking some computing time because this is directly linked to our model. But if I change something else here, for instance, this one, so you see for this uh, facade, we are able to change the subdivision lengths and so on and so forth. So everything starts with this. Then we go to Honeybee to assemble our model. And then we'll have our glass uh, materials. We have our geometries. We have our shadings or context buildings as well. And we'll be also visualizing everything, visualizing all these results by using uh, Honeybee's visualization. So these two types only indicated in this analysis. And if I come over to here and then say 10, you'll see that that model is already changed. Or if I say three to this, it will change will be changed as well and obviously we'll be defining the like the analysis grid we'll put some sensors on the grid as well and then we'll run many analysis so we'll be running daylight autonomy when all the windows are opened so you see you don't see any changes we see only with the west value or we see only with the roof or we see only roof with the different amounts of uh transmittance onto the glazings so only two faces like the west and the roof for this one and then we'll be running point in time simulations for winter and point in time illuminance simulations for winter point in time illuminance simulations for summer and we'll be taking a closer look at glare analysis glare is kind of a, a study where we take a look at views and directions and we try to understand if there is a glare that we can tolerate or not and they're all covered in this playlist and last but not least take a closer look at daylight factor which is an unobstructed uh, which is a metric to uh, express the daylight availability compared to the unobstructed daylight availability outside and these are the curves that we see here like these curves are showing us the locations where we have daylight factor lower than 2%, higher than 2%, and changing in between 0 and 50. Mm -hmm. That is pretty much what we have for this playlist. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next one.